The PZA Laura is a polished armor radar directed self propelled anti aircraft gun system developed to provide effective air defense for ground forces. Built in response to the growing need for mobile autonomous anti aircraft systems during the 1990s, the Laura represented a significant achievement for the Polish defense industry, showcasing an ambitious design that fused cutting-edge radar, optics, and weaponry. Though it ultimately saw limited operational use, the LoRa remains an important chapter in Poland's military development and technological advancements. The PZA LoRa was designed as a versatile short-range air defense vehicle, able to engage various aerial threats from low-flying planes to drones and helicopters. The original LoRa prototype was built on the T-72M main battle tank chassis, which was then modified to the PT-9120 chassis, a Polish variant of the T-72 intended for a production model, the LoRa A. This adaptation provided the platform with robust mobility, stability, and power. The primary armament of the PZA LoRa consisted of twin 35mm Oerlikon KTA automatic cannons positioned on each side of the turret. These cannons could deliver rapid, accurate fire, enabling the vehicle to engage fast-moving aerial targets. The 35mm cannons had an effective engagement altitude of up to 16,500 feet making them suitable for intercepting various aerial threats within close proximity of ground forces. The LoRa's fire control system was a highlight of its design, integrating multiple detection and targeting methods. It featured a 3D air search radar coupled with an Ericsson Eagle Mark I engagement radar, a laser range radar, and electro-optical devices, including a TV and FLIR camera. This advanced sensor should allow the LoRa to track up to 64 targets at once, scanning out to a distance of 16 miles and providing a rapid response to threats in all lighting conditions. A diesel-powered S1000 engine generating 1000 horsepower provided the LoRa with a maximum on-road speed of 37 miles per hour. Its torsion bar suspension and lightweight steel armor allow the vehicle to operate effectively in diverse environments. Additionally, the LoRa was equipped with an MBC protection suit, ensuring crew safety against unconventional threats on the battlefield. Despite its advanced design, the PZA LoRa had a notably brief operational history. A single LoRa prototype designated LoRa A was field tested by the Polish land forces, where it demonstrated substantial potential as a mobile anti aircraft solution. However, it was officially withdrawn from service in 2013, marking an end to the LoRa's active role in Poland's defense. The LoRa's retirement was attributed to a combination of factors, including high production costs, budget constraints, and changing priorities in Poland's air defense strategy. Although it never saw mass production, the LoRa offered valuable insights for Polish engineers and defense strategies influencing later air defense initiatives within the country. The PZA LoRa project played a significant role in the evolution of Poland's defense industry, reflecting the country's ambition to develop self-sufficient, advanced military technology during the post-Cold War era. By designing an autonomous anti-aircraft artillery system that incorporated radar-guided targeting, and a suite of electronic tracking 
and surveillance tools. Poland positioned itself as a player in the highly specialized field of air defense systems. The LoRa project also brought Polish defense companies and foreign partners together, fostering collaboration and exchange of technological expertise. The experience and knowledge gained from the LoRa project paved the way for future Polish developments in defense technology, particularly in radar systems and fire control technologies. Moreover, the LoRa project underscore Poland's commitment to developing indigenous solutions, a vision that has continued with more recent programs such as the Pyron Man Portable Air Defense System and contributions to NATO compatible systems. While the LoRa project did not transition into full production or deployment, it had a lasting legacy in the Polish defense landscape. The program underscored Poland's capability to independently develop complex military technologies and encouraged the pursuit of further self-reliance defense initiatives. The knowledge gained from the LoRa's fire control and radar systems has informed other programs, enhancing Poland's air defense capabilities and technical prowess. In retrospect, the PZA LoRa serves as a symbol of Poland's post-Soviet era defense ambitions and the challenges of balancing innovation with financial and strategic realities. Although it was retired without extensive service, the LoRa exemplifies Poland's efforts to establish a domestic arms industry capable of producing sophisticated NATO-compatible defense solutions. The spirit of innovation and self-reliance embodied by the LoRa continues to influence Poland's defense industry, inspiring current and future advancements in military technology.